lovely people welcome welcome back to my channel and happy happy new year to you guys sorry i haven't been here for a while i just wanted to spend the last few days of 2021 with my family okay so this is the jollof rice i made last year so i thought it's time for me to share it i hope you enjoy watching and please watch till the end all right guys just to kick off here are the ingredients we're gonna be using so i've got my bell peppers there i'll have my plant tomatoes i have my rice over there i have my purple onions and garlic and also i've got my goat meat and tomato paste okay so i also have my thyme i have my bay leaves black pepper salt and maggi first of all we're gonna start off by boiling our goat meat okay all right so i'm just gonna season my goat meat with curry powder all right so follow by my lamb seasoning yes guys i'm your lamb and goat are almost the same thing okay so right now guys i'm gonna be adding some garlic powder you can use the fresh garlic i do have the fresh one but that's long to grill okay so right now i'm just adding my parsley yeah you can use the fresh parsley if you have but i prefer using the dry one okay so follow by my bullion chicken stock all right so yeah right now we're going to be adding our sliced onions okay so followed by a little bit of salt you don't want to go gaga with the salt okay so just add some water you can add a bit more water because goat meat is very stubborn <laughs> very very stubborn trust me that thing it doesn't cook fast <laughs> so i almost forgot to add my uh, ginger powder so here goes in the ginger powder so i'm gonna combine again and straight after that guys i'm gonna be covering i'm gonna be boiling until the goat meat is soft okay so what that is cooking so i've gone ahead and i've cleaned out my bell peppers all right so i'll remove all the seed out and then put in your blender followed by your sliced onions of your choice okay so right now i'm adding my garlic yes i can't make your love rice without garlic followed by my plant tomatoes so you can use the fresh tomatoes if you prefer but i'm using the can okay so right now guys i'm going to rinse out and boom include that and it's time to blend so cover it and blend all right so guys while that is blending we're going back to check on the goat meat okay here right now the meat is nicely soft and ready okay so just set aside okay so you're going to be needing the stock water okay you need that broth for the rice all right so what you're going to do next is you need to sieve out those onions those garbage on the water because you don't need that bean that and set the water aside you can't make your jollof without a broth <laughs> all right okay so here it is so i'm just gonna keep it aside okay so right now i'm gonna add some oil into my pot followed by my onions and when it's hot all right so just fry until the onions is soft okay so add your garlic paste all right so combine and fry for another further two minutes or so include your bay leaves yes guys bay leaf and jollof rice is the bomb followed by tomato paste or tomato puree whichever way you want to call it all right so include your tomato paste or your tomato puree combine and fry for like few minutes okay so after a few minutes guys include your blended tomatoes and pepper mixture yes guys so straight after that i'm gonna be adding my goat broth oh my god that was the best thing ever making jollof rice with goat Oof, so nice so add your um nutmeg followed by miss herbs okay so right now i'm adding a bit of salt okay followed by my bullion all right so right now i'm adding my thyme yes guys jollof rice you have to wear seasoning jollof rice needs to be nicely seasoned for you to get that perfect finish jollof rice all right so combine and cover and allow it to boil all right so right now my tomatoes have boiled so it's time for the next step the big step all right <laughs> so right now i'm just going to be adding my washed rice yes, make sure the rice is washed thoroughly all right so combine slowly without touching the bottom of the pot okay because you don't want it to burn yet even before you even start cooking <laughs> all right so just um 
cover it up guys okay cover and, uh, and cook for a medium heat you don't want to cook with a high heat yet okay just cook with a medium heat all right so yeah right now guys my rice is almost there so right now i'm not going to be including any water so what we're going to be using right now we're going to be covering it up with the parchment paper okay so you can use foil paper if you have doesn't matter cover it and i cook on a medium heat or lower it all right so after a minute after a few minutes so right now the water is all dried and i'm gonna check and yes guys my rice is ready nicely so just include some butter you cannot make your love fries without adding butter ah, ah. <laughs> put some butter and combine allow the butter and the rice to work together okay so just cover that up on on a lower heat okay cover it and give it time to work together so after like few minutes guys my jollof rice and the butter is ooh, nicely all worked up <laughs> so this jollof rice was the best thing ever like the best jollof rice ever just take a look guys ah, thank you guys for watching one more time thank you for tuning in one more time i hope you had a great celebration last year and please guys don't forget to give this video your lovely thumbs up leave me a comment and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't ciao ciao